Alright, what's up guys? Um, I went ahead and just jumped straight in the game. Now, I, I know you've seen this. Um, I did work off cam Well, I did a little work off camera, but then I tried to do a recording. I recorded for almost an entire hour, and I lost all of that footage. Uh, the encoder did not work. I was so angry. I was so angry that I switched recording softwares uh, because it it was such a long video. The recorder couldn't keep up, and now I am super aggravated. Uh, I reduced the lighting so that way it could help. But I got into a little bit of thermal dynamics here. Uh, created a steam dynamo. I got a whole bunch more EMC uh, from gathering stuff while I was off cam while I was actually during the recording. Uh, made a few machines, and what's really cool is all thermal dynamics are transmutable. I can literally type in at thermal. Oh wait, no, I can't. Um, pulverizer, uh, magma, uh, steam. I really didn't put a steam dynamo in here. Okay, well then let's fix that real quick. There you go. Thought down for not doing that. There we go. Ah, man. But what's really cool is you take one of these alternative fuels, just a single one. Get you a couple buckets of water. It can hold up to four. Pop that alternative fuel in there. And then go and fill it up with water. I think I'll run forever. Which is awesome. Because alternative fuel is like coal on fucking steroids. So it's it never stops running. Um, I am going to put a lever, though, to... Oh, I haven't made a lever. Cobble. And stick. Now it's set to turn on and off so that way it won't waste any power. Which I don't think it'll even do anything unless you're actually running something in the engines. But I don't want to risk it. So now this stuff out here I actually didn't do on camera. Now originally what we did is I set up this whole bonsai tree farm on camera. Uh, I set it up with hoppers and stuff like that on camera. Uh, now uh, and I switched it out to these little conduits which I made off camera. Uh, while I was trying to wait for the video to process and uh, set it up to make it a lot quicker so that way it just pumps items in here. So what what so what this whole system is, this is a, a EMC generating machine here. So what this machine does is these little trees here are in little flower pots basically uh, with dirt in them that automatically they just grow the trees, they harvest them and then they replace them with the sapling and then they send the items that it harvested through a series of tubes into this box right here called an energy condenser which you guys saw before and I actually created this before the last episode I tried to record and what this does uh, is just uses sunlight to generate EMC uh, and then I using alternative fuel as the item I'm trading for EMC Now this is just a temporary situation for now as eventually we'll just get an automatic network which we should have enough EMC to automatically start doing right now. So what we can do is let's go over to Project E. Okay. Um, and let's scroll here. So these are what we could do. But let's see. Uh, what we want to make. Yeah, we can do this. We can take that system I have out there and we can just use one of these. But first, we need to make four of these basic basic EMC limits and four red matter blocks, which are four red, red matter per block. Problem is, is red matter costs that much. So it may be a minute before we're able to do that. Um, okay. Well, we still need to speed up the EMC generation because that's going to take forever at that pace. We could get some more of the collectors. Plop them down. Let's see if we can upgrade them. Use. We can combine them with dark matter and glowstone blocks. Glow. 
I still haven't made glowstone blocks. Let's fix that. Ooh, that shit's expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Piece of dark matter. I believe is the recipe. Boom and bam. Yep. Okay, let's learn that real quick. Can we upgrade it again? Same situation, just red matter this time. Okay, and now we have a Mark III collector. And we can turn it into a red matter Mark III uh, collector for that. I don't know if that'll work though. Let's find out. Let's see if it'll work just like this, because it's basically the same thing. The only way I'd know for sure if it'd work is if I take this guy off and destroy this guy. It shouldn't have any EMC generation now. Okay, plop this down. Okay, so basically it does the same thing, except it's not just tick, 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 tick. It's just like tick, tick, tick. So this does work. Oh, hold on. Let's fix this real quick. There we go. And I'll start feeding items again. Pop that there. Increase it even more. Alright. Can we upgrade this thing, though? I like that you can break these by hand. It's not something you normally could do. Come on. Red matter collectors. A compressed red matter collector. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, magenta matter collector. Magenta matter is, well, shit. Okay. I definitely can't make magenta matter because it requires three red matter, so we can't do that. And we definitely can't make any more of these, so let's plop that down and try to get more EMC. Alright. Okay. A lot of this EMC gather gathering is definitely patience based. Now, last video I was work. Oh, I also built a couple things out here. I built this Tinker's Construct furnace, and I built a uh, Nether portal because I had to go in there and get Nether racks for to make Nether brick to make the magma crucible. So the uh, Tinker's Construct Furnace, if you're unaware, is a special structure that's at least, I think, a 3x3, three three, meaning the bottom block has to be made of, well, here, let's start from the beginning. So first you have to make a material called grout. A really simple material it requires clay, and you have two different ways of making it. You can do it in all block form. Clay with sand and gravel like this, or clay, grand, uh, clay sand, or gravel like this, and you make grout. Grout, a single block of grout makes a single seared brick which you just cook it to get it or you can smelt it down to make seared stone and then you can do it that way but you take that grout you make seared bricks with it and then you have to go from there first you have to make a smeltery some faucets a casting basin a some seared bricks seared tanks um you don't need that because you didn't make a furnace make some more decorative blocks makes it look a little better um ta you need a table drain channel uh, and then again that's a different machine altogether and what you do is once you have all these blocks that is a really loud thing and it needs to stop I don't need another portal I'm just gonna mine this whole thing I have no reason to go to the nether right now there we go Sweet, you even repaired the water for me. How sweet. Okay, now that, that sounds gone. So basically, the structure is false. You take the seared brick. Uh, these guys right here. Just two by two. And you dig out a spot in the ground. Or you can put it on the ground. It really doesn't matter. You can put it up higher than me. I just embedded it in the ground so it looks better. Take that seared brick and place it down right there. And then, you take... Say say that's the seared brick. You place it in the ground. Put the, uh, put the seared brick there 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 and there now you had the basic structure this is the smallest you can build it and then you replace a couple of these blocks like this guy the 
this guy. I should have demonstrated this to begin with. You know, just mine all these up. So, here, I'll just make the small structure you can make. Seared. Boop, 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 boop. Faucet. Drain. Tank. Controller. Alright. So, block in the ground. Controller there. Tank there. Brick there. Drain here. That. Break a hole in the ground. And see, this structure works. You fill this up with a fuel source, which is either lava or something hotter like seared py uh, liquid pyrothium or some other really hot material. Um, and then that will act as a fuel source. And when you pump metals in here, which depending on how many, like each individual square space that's inside of a Tinker's Construct Furnace is how many items you can cook at once. Like this, there's only one space in here. But this is a five by five by three, so there should be 25 times three is 75 spaces in here that you can cook items with, which is quite a bit. Uh, and it just and the glass is decorative. You don't have to have the glass. I just didn't. I just wanted to be able to see inside from all sides. And because creating the resources wasn't difficult like this, but once that's done, before I mine this up. You have this drain. Once you put metals in it and cook stuff in it, you put either a, a casting basin or a casting table, and you can pour some metal into it to either shape it into shapes using the casting table or just pour it into a block for nine ingots. Really simple stuff. So that's what that structure is all together in a nutshell. And I made it on camera, by the way. It just uh, lost the footage. Sorry about that. So, now we have the Tinker's Construct Furnace, and I actually have some metal in here I need to pour out because I was learning how to make uh, any ingots that were, um, any ingots that had EMC value. I went ahead and just made them. So, let's go ahead and start pouring these out. I probably won't need this a whole lot more other than to make ingots that don't have EMC value. But I'm still not going to break it down because I think it's pretty. <laughs> and I like these ingots, Lumium. They're really valuable ingots and I love that they have EMC value. But I do want to get all the metals out of this in case I do use it again. I don't want all these metals in my way. Okay, now it's empty. Cool. And you maybe wonder how I made the casting uh, plate there. Uh, you take two gold ingots, put it in the system, and then what you do is once it melts down, you take an ingot-shaped item, whether it's an actual ingot or a seared brick, which is the cheapest way since you've already got a bunch of them from making that thing. Lay it down in that thing by right-clicking it into it, and then pour the gold onto it, and it'll make the plate that you can use as many times as you want. So, let's see here. Where are we at? Dang, we're already at 14 minutes. Okay, well, I've explained everything we've done so far. So, let's go ahead and get some stuff done. Um, shoot. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, what do we want to do? What do we do? Um, we definitely want to upgrade our system, but I don't know exactly how we want to do it. Uh, at Project E. So, I want to eventually get to this, but we have to make a ton of these. And this thing is awesome. It'll just generate EMC directly. But I want it to feed into this. But these, we're going to need EMC for a while before we can do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Well, we were working on gathering uh, Signalium. But I don't remember what for. Um, 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 um. Oh, I remember. It was so we can make the items, to, the item ducts to speed up this process. I remember now. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to see if there are any trees that drop resources that have a higher EMC value. Let's see here.
don't think so. But I am looking just in case. Sacred Oak Sapling. Isn't that one of those massive ass trees or whatever they are? Okay. It's being difficult. Alright, whatever. Um, nah, I don't think there's any real way of increasing productivity other than just expanding this out. And eventually, it's just going to start causing tick lag. Alright, um, well, I don't think I need any of this stuff anymore. So, we'll go ahead and pick all this up. And we'll go ahead and shove it back into this. Uh, into this. Okay. Uh, let's get some wood and glass and repair that. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a second and figure out what we need to do next. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, I was doing some thinking to figure out what we could do to really improve our EMC generation. And I think we're going to do a form of cobblestone generator through thermal dynamics called Igneous Extrusion. So basically we're going to make one of these right here. We need two invar ingots. Got it. Then we need two copper gears, a coil, a frame, and glass. Okay. I think I have everything. Yep. Okay, go ahead and learn that real quick so we can do it again. Alright. I don't think it requires power, but we're going to set this here just in case it does. Okay. I'm not sure why it's in there twice. Okay. Uh. Some buckets. Oh, I guess it'd help if I throw some fuel in there, wouldn't it? You can make basalt, cobblestone, stone, obsidian. Granite, diorite, and site. I guess it's just a form of stone. Alright, well, let's get a bucket of water. And a bucket of lava, because it should never, ever actually use the sources. So it'll just keep producing. It's actually kind of quick. But we definitely want to improve this. Okay, it's definitely producing faster than it's using. But we'll probably want to upgrade this. Okay, so let's look at thermal dynamics. Processing speed. Okay. Looking for the ones that say dynamos. Ah, here we go. Uh, side accessibility insertion and extrusion through the coil. Um, increased efficiency. More FP RF is produced by fuels. Increased output. Okay, well, how do we make these? Okay, I know I made one. I don't know why that's an issue. Okay, now it's learned. Uh, okay, uh, where was it? Uh, where'd it go? Okay, right. I've been recording for about 20 minutes. Put another time on there. Okay, now where was it? Um, this one right here. No, this one. Yep. So silver. Okay. 
Okay, let's learn that guy in here. Okay, apparently I have to upgrade the main station itself first. Um, here we are. Okay, so let's start making these. Anvar, grab half a stack of that, throw that back in there. Also need bronze gears, that's new. Okay. Next, we'll need redstone. Got it. Next, we'll need electrum. Wait, is that electrum or electrum gears? Yeah, it was electrum. Okay, silver gear, which I haven't made either. Haven't made blizz, pulverizer, um, permafrost from Quark actually makes that now. That's cool. Uh, fluid transposer, liquid XP into snowballs. I thought it used to be redstone into snowballs. When did that happen? Okay, well, it looks like second tier is about as far as we can go right now. So let's just make these real quick. Okay, let's learn both of these real quick. Then we'll make the conversion kit so it's easier to make. Okay. So now we should, yep, be able to throw that in there. Okay. Let's do a second one of those real quick for the actual machine. All right, so now let's go back over here to upgrades. Let's see. Let's make this lead and an electrum one. I already had that, okay. Okay, we'll learn that guy. We need lead. All right, don't know if we learned it yet, but we'll learn it real quick. There we go. That'll improve efficiency, which I'm assuming will reduce fuel cost. All right, now let's do a machine. Let's do a machine upgrade. Let's see here. What what kind of machine are we using? The igneous extruder. Okay, so I think there's actually a block specifically for the igneous extruder. Specialization: water is no longer consumed for operation. That's cool. Okay, I mean, that's cool that it doesn't consume water, but we're making cobblestone, so that don't really apply. Um, okay. Alright. I think it'd be this guy right here. So, gold and reception coil. Hmm. 
Okay. So it looks like it's going fast, but that's about as fast as it'll let us go for now. I mean, it'll produce EMC pretty quick over time. Um, let's get a energy condenser going here. See if we can import straight into it. That'll work. I, I literally just clicked you in there. Okay, it's generating pretty quick, but I feel like we can do a lot more. But I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up for there, guys. We've got some pretty good EMC generation going on, but I'm going to see about getting higher tier upgrades. I'm going to... We got experience, so I'm going to go get into open blocks and turn that into liquid experience and get the liquid transfer node and get all that started and see if I can get higher tier upgrades. And the next time you say I see me, I should be able to, should be automatically be able to put the highest tier upgrade in these and really max out the output on this guy and see what it can really do at max output. Because it's using 120 RF per tick. Problem is, we're, using, we're only producing 115. So I'll probably have to increase the output for this. Thankfully, that coal lasts a long-ass time. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a uh, like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell down below to let you know when I upload videos to YouTube or go live. Uh, but I think it's going to have to do it for me, so I'll see all of you guys later. Bye, guys.